Well, what's going on, class? Uh, good morning, good afternoon, or good night. I uh, hope you're uh, having a beautiful day so far. Uh, what we're going to learn today is how to simplify a rational expression. And a rational expression is just a fraction with variables. That's it. And we're not worried about fractions, we're not worried about variables, so we are not going to be worried about a fraction with variables. And I'm going to show you why we're not worried about it. Alright, it's just another opportunity for us to learn something. Here we go. I'm going to do three problems in this video. Here's the first one. Uh, we got 4x minus 8 over x squared plus 4x minus 12. This is a rational expression because this is a fraction. Those are variables. Voila! Rational expression. So how do we simplify it, you ask? Well, I'm going to break out the bake out. I'm going to break out the red pen for this one. Okay, I'll put this down. Uh, it's a two-step process. Here's the first step. Right here, I'm going to write it right here. Step one. Factor things. All right, step one, factor things. Step two, cancel stuff. That's it. It's as easy as that. Factor things and then cancel stuff. And, and I know you might be thinking, well, exactly what things do we factor? And exactly what stuff do we cancel? Don't worry about that yet. All right, this is just a pointer. It's just something that I hope you can remember that points you in the right direction. All right? Uh, there's a million ways to factor, so I don't, I don't want this to be too confusing. So we're going to factor things, then we're going to cancel stuff. That's our method. So let's start by factoring. I'm going to start with the numerator. There's two terms. You don't believe me? What? You think I'm lying to you? Well, I can count them. Look, one, two. Two terms. When that happens, we either factor by finding the greatest common factor, or we recognize it as a difference of squares. This is neither of those two things. Well, it's not a difference of squares, because uh, x is not a perfect square, nor is 8. So it's the first one. It's a factor by greatest common factor. And the greatest common factor is 4, so I'm going to take out the 4. And when I take out a 4, I'm left with x minus 2. Okay? Because the moment I say the greatest common factor is 4, is the moment I realize that 4 is really 4 times 1, and 8 is really 4 times 2. And if I factor out the 4, I'm left with a 1 and a 2, a 1 and a 2. All right, on to the denominator. So what do you mean by factor things? I mean factor the numerator and factor the denominator, if it's possible. In this case, it is. This is a trinomial. It's got three terms. You think I'm lying to you again? Look, 1, 2, 3, three terms. Every time we see that, we use x marks the spot. I'm going to really quickly here, x marks the spot. Boom, boom. Negative 12 goes on the top. 4 goes on the bottom. I need two terms that multiply to give me negative 12, but add to give me positive 4. Those two terms are going to be 6 and negative 2. So over here, I got uh, x plus 6, x minus 2. Bam! All right. I factored things. Last thing we got to do is cancel stuff. But what stuff? In this case, when you're multiplying and dividing by the same quantity, then you can cancel. That's what happens here. So I got an x minus 2, x minus 2. Those are canceled. And we got 4x plus 6. That's how we're talking about. We have simplified a rational expression. That's problem number one. I factor things, then I cancel stuff. That's what I did. Uh, again, I'm so, I'm so used to asking you uh, if you have any questions. Uh, I can't ask you that right now, so i got to just erase it. Uh, let's, look, let's move on here. Look, I'm intentionally not looking for excluded values. Uh, maybe we'll do that some other time. Right now, I'm interested in just the simplification process. So what do we got here? We got x squared minus 100 over x squared plus 7x minus 
30. Okay, right now, I urge you, I recommend to you that you pause this video and you try this problem on your own. Do the two steps, back to the things, then cancel the stuff. Then hit play, and I will explain how to do it. All right, so pause. Unpause. All right. Uh, factor things. Uh, the numerator here, we got ourselves a binomial. There are two terms. So we're either going to use greatest common factor or a difference of squares. But this is a difference of squares because x squared is x times x and 100 is 10 times 10. Thus, we use what we know of a difference of squares, so that's going to give us x plus 10, x minus 10. We go down to the denominator. We got a trinomial that's three terms. So once again, we're going we're gonna to attack this with x marks the spot. Uh, here we go. Boom, boom. I got negative 30 on the top. I got 7 on the bottom. So I need two numbers that multiply to give me negative 30, but add to give me 7. Oh, man. You know, if you don't know how to do that, that's fine. Ain't no worries. It's not, don't be worried about that, but here's what you do. You just say, okay, well, I'm going to put 30 up here, and I'm going to think, what are my factors of 30? What numbers get me to 30? Well, I got 15 times 2. I got 6 times 5. I got 30 times 1. And think about which one of these are actually going to be able to get you to 7. There's no way you're going to add or subtract the numbers 15 and 2 and get to 7. Uh, 6 and 5. Uh, 6 plus 5, again, we're not getting to 7. A uh, 30 and 1, not getting to 7. Which one is it? Oh, it's still not there. Oh, I forgot one. I forgot one. 10 times 3. Now we get getting to 7, yo. Look, 10 minus 3 is 7. So I'm going to go 10 and 3. Uh, realize it has to be negative, so one of these two has got to be negative. It's the 3 because that's positive. Uh, so what do we got here? We got x plus 10 now, and x minus 3. All right, we factored things, meaning the numerator and denominator. Now it's time to cancel some stuff. Oh, yes. Uh, boom, boom, holla. For a dollar or a quarter. Um, uh, x minus 10, that's left over. X minus 3 is left over. That's what we're talking about, people. That's what we're talking about. That feels good. That's the right answer. It's the right answer today. It will be the right answer tomorrow. Next week, it will still be the right answer. All right. Uh, last problem. Last problem. I mean, maybe it's right, maybe it's not, you know, there's no excluded values in there, but uh, it's the simplified version. All right, last one. All right, here, here's the money, here we go. Let's start right now, let's go with uh, 5x squared plus 15x, all of that over x squared minus... 8x minus 33. Pause the video, try your best, and then play the video. And I'm going to go over the solutions. Alright. Uh, I don't need this anymore. All this has are the problems. It don't have the solutions. So, yeah. Yo. Come on. I hope I get it wrong. Because if I get it wrong, then we get to learn even more. Okay? Uh, so hopefully you just tried your best. Let's look at this thing here. Uh, we got a binomial on the top. It's not a difference of squares because one, it's not a difference, it's addition. So let's find a greatest common factor between 5 and 15. Hmm, between 5 and 15. Uh, that's 5 times 1, that's 5 times 3. All right, I see it. So I'm going to take out a 5. Now remember, this has two x's. It's x squared, which is x times x, and that's just x. So they each share at least one x. So what do we got afterwards? Well, we take out the five. Okay, if you factor out the five, you still got the one. Uh, there were two x's. You took one of them out, so you still got that one x there. Plus, that five is taken out. You got the three. Boom. Holla. Now, bottom. Uh, one, two, three. That's a trinomial. What do we do, class? What do we do when we have a trinomial? What's our method? 
There's a bunch of methods. Pick the one you like. Maybe you like the box method. I don't know. I don't particularly care. Whichever one works for you. Okay, so what do we got here? Negative 33, negative 8. I need two numbers that multiply to give me negative 33, but add to give me negative 8. That's the puzzle. Watch this. Um, look. This minus 11, so down here we have x minus 11, right here that's a positive 3, we have x plus 3. Uh, there's a 1 here, I'm not going to write it, but I could, but look, boom, boom. Back to things, cancel stuff. And you end with 5x over x minus 11. I'm just trying to point you in the right direction, all right? You got to know how to factor. You got to know how to cancel. All right. This is a very gen... Whoa! Yo! That happens a lot. Um, uh, it's a very general pointer in the right direction. Uh, here's three problems. I encourage you to, to continue and do more problems. I encourage you to do your best, and I promise if you do, you'll get it. In fact, play the video again. Try all these problems again. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, I'm very happy to have had a chance to teach you.